Hey, uh, welcome to LSB Feasters Radio Channel and Travel Corner. Today, it's back to Philadelphia with 93.3 WMMR. WMMR has been rocking Philadelphia since 1968, when it started as a progressive rock station. In fact, the call letters MMR actually stands for Metro Media Radio. Uh, Metro Media owns several progressive rock stations, and MMR adopted its programming from some of the other stations. In the chain, you had uh, Cleveland's WMMS, you had KMET Los Angeles, KSAN in San Francisco, and New York's WNEW. Now, NEW and MMR actually had a very close relationship. The stations ran similar promotions, and they even traded some of their jocks back and forth over the years through the 60s and 70s. Dave Herman was WMMR's first rock jock with the Marconi Experiment back in 1968. And some of the legendary voices we've heard on WMMR over the year include Michael Tiersen, Ed Shockey, David Dye, Nick Spencer, Carol Miller, Dave Herman, of course. If you like what you hear, give it a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you like what you hear, smack that bell after you subscribe so you can get updates whenever we post anything new, which is normally weekdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. So let's go back to the 1980s with John DeBella and the Morning Zoo on 93.3 WMMR, Philadelphia. Your weather for this Hawaiian shirt Gonzo Friday. We'll have sunshine today, the high of 73, clear tonight, low of 40, then sunny tomorrow and Sunday. 66 now in Center City, and I'm Mark the Shark on the Morning Zoo at 93.3 WMMR. Should we do it? Should yeah, we do no, it? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right, here's what I'd like to do right now. Invite five more people to the Zappaween party at Quincy's in the Adams Mark Hotel. All you have to do is give me a call and make sure you're 21 or older. 263-8933 for Pennsylvania. 590-8933 for Jersey. Keep in mind, if you don't get a pair of tickets this way, you can always send a postcard to Zappaween. P.O. Box 15912, Philadelphia, PA, 19103. Gonzo Friday. You like that I'm playing this, don't you? <laughs> yes. Well, I'm sorry to say all of those Zappaween tickets are now gone, so let's do another insta-win. This one is for tonight. The John Alexander Band is going to be in an MMR broadcast from the Empire Rock Club. How'd you like a pair of these tickets? If you're 21 or older, give us a call. 263 at 93.3 for Pennsylvania. 590-8933 for Jersey. Good morning, Good morning, Zoo. Good morning, Zoo. Good morning, Zoo. Morning Zoo with you two and bad before that. Camarillo Brillo from Frank Zappa. Of course, Zappaween coming up next Thursday. He'll be our guest here on the zoo. And then Thursday night, we'll have a party, a Halloween party at Quincy's. Costumes, prizes, the whole nine yards. And if you would like to be at the Zappaween party, just send a postcard to Zappaween, P.O. Box 15 912, Philippa 19103. And possibly, if your card is wrong, you'll receive an invitation in the mail. Hopefully, uh, if, if we can, we'd like to invite as many people as, as we possibly can, but there is a limited amount of space, so that's why we are sending out invitations, and you must have an invitation in order to get in. 233 WMMR. <laughs> and Monday's coming on like a jail on Here come the weekend, here come the new screamer, here come the shark. All of that after this. Box Lacrosse. The game of the future. A return grudge match. Saturday, November 2nd. The final showdown. The championship match of the North American World Cup. Team Canada versus Team USA. It all comes down to this. Fox Lacrosse. No other sport is as demanding, as punishing, or as violent. Fox Lacrosse. See Canadian superstars Frank Peavy and John Monroe take on the American team. Led by Jim D'Argangelo and Phil Scarfone. Brutal. Splashing. Checking. Boarding. The action is non-stop. Team Canada versus Team USA. The last time they met, the killer competition brought down the house. Team Canada versus Team USA. Saturday, November 2nd at the Spectrum. Tickets at all tickets run off less at the Spectrum box office or charge at 215-627-0532. From Stephen Starr and the Concert Company. The Showdown. When the world's unkind and the going's tough. 
when the breaks won't come. Just change your life. There's a party going on. Something funny's going on at this party. At 6 o'clock weeknights, it's Three's Company, back on 17. Then at 7, Gary Coleman livens things up on different strokes. Carson's Comedy Classics entertains you at 7.30 and 11 with Johnny's Greatest Skits. And the 8 o'clock movie, Farewell to the Planet of the Apes. And starting Monday, let's really party as Channel 17 launches the Great Entertainer $100,000 giveaway. Celebrating the station's 20th birthday by giving you a chance to win a luxury speedboat from Belks Marine, $5,000 in carpeting from Burlington Carpet, an 86 Corvette from Cardin Auto Mall, ski weekends at Split Rock Lodge, and more. Watch for details in this weekend's TV guide and stay tuned to Channel 17. This is party going on, the great entertainer. Italian Culinary Authority, Pierre Rigatini. Uh, Pierre, you have some uh, <laughs> unusual art. Merci, grazie. This masterpiece by Leonardo de la Trec commemorates the first serving of French toast parmesan. Oh, sounds deadly. Uh, that is why I call it <laughs> the last supper. Speaking of supper, voila! Elio's new French bread style pizza. Oh, Elio's has always been my favorite frozen pizza. If they make one with French bread, it must be fantastic. Oui, senor. Elio's new French bread pizza has fresh baked French bread, mm. a unique sauce, remelted cheese, mm. and fine meat toppings. Mm. Truly, la pizza de resistance. Mm, delicious. Can I take some home in a doggy bag? Only if Madame has an Italian poodle. Try Elio's new French bread style frozen pizza, cheese, sausage, pepperoni, or deluxe. You'll say viva la différence in your best Italian accent, of course. Good morning, Sue, here at 93.3 WNMR. One more reality check before we get to the Screamer. Live in a news cage, here's Mark the Shark. Okay, John, we have 68 degrees right now. Plenty of sunshine for this Hawaiian shirt Gonzo Friday. Today, the president meets with the Japanese and West German leaders up in New York. Later today, while in New York, he'll visit with the relatives of Leon Klinghoffer. Also in New York, Secretary of State Schultz meets with his Soviet counterpart. They'll talk about the summit next month. And with all these heads of state at fancy New York hotels, Room service is swamped with requests for all kinds of food. One cook said he had an order in French for something with animal eyes. <laughs> I could just eat this stuff up. Here's some real good use of the space shuttle. The next flight up around Thanksgiving will look for water in Africa's drought-stricken Ethiopia and Somalia. NASA also says it will f*** a journalist next September. David Crosby has been arrested in Mill Valley, California for investigation of possession of a concealed weapon and narcotics paraphernalia and hit and run. That happened after his car hit a fence. Well, in sports, of course, the Royals brought the World Series to the sixth game and back to Kansas City. Now it's three games to two St. Louis. Tomorrow night, the Cards send Danny Cox against Charlie Lee Brandt and will know the winner either Saturday or Sunday. Pete Townsend with the brand new Screamer of the Week. Therefore, bringing the morning zoo to its timely halt. And until Monday when we hit the screamer in the 6 o'clock hour, Tuesday in the 7, Wednesday in the 8, Thursday in the 9, and then next Gonzo Friday, we start the whole... Schmageggy. All over again. Be good, stay out of trouble, buy bonds, stay chicken fat, join the wax, don't take any wooden rhetoric. All those things this jockey say before they get off the radio, including... Hi there, Willie. Greetings, John. What's happening? Well, it is Hawaiian Shirt Gonzo Friday, yes. raising its head once and, again. And, and that is a, that is a fine lavender Hawaiian mm. shirt you're wearing. Thank today. you, thank the you very much. The basic color in there is lavender. A little white, little blue there. A little white, little blue, that's little a, uh, touches of green. That's a beauty. Yeah, like John's this, this is definitely is a, nice a beauty. Yeah, I got this one. It looks like no, it. No, no, I got this one on South Street. Oh. Yeah. It looks sort of like the DeBella Mansion perched high atop a hill, except there's an ocean there, and there's no ocean at the DeBella Mansion. Thank or is so there an ocean at the DeBella Mansion? We're digging a lake, but... So big that sometimes I don't know. Those we're, we're, few times I've been invited, we're, we're digging a lake right now. Uh -huh. You know, I, I heard the story about if you have water on your land, you get a tax break, and oh. with the amount of land, we need a tax break. So. Is that what all those dozers were doing out That's there? It. That's, That's it. Have you seen there. me in that backhoe? I, I have something. I, like, you know, I put on my, you know, like you know, your cat, hard hat. My, my, no, my caterpillar. You know. Uh, oh, uh, your cat. Right. Yeah. yeah. Cat hat. Yeah. Diesel. Yeah. Cat diesel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, digging holes. You know. Wow. Nothing like a few holes around the house. No, not at all. You just wait for them to fill up with water and then, you know. And they fill up. Mm -hmm, and, and then, and, 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 you know, and Stain and Valentine, the punk pup, uh, they go running around in the mud. It's pain in the neck, but it's, uh, it's well, it, it can be fun. You know, I had a dream last night. Who are you, Martin Luther King? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but I had a dream last night, now that you mentioned things, that, that I was at some famous person's swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Say it, brother, say it. But say I can't it. remember who it was now. Probably you Tom know. Selleck or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was, and all these people were 
were doing things in the water. It was really wild. <laughs> they were doing things. Well, wait, wait a second, wait a second. You had a dream I last had, night yes. about about people mm -hmm. and water. And water. Oh, boy, would Freud go wild with you. I'm telling you, <laughs> was, there, was there a lot of red in, the, in, in it, too? No, no, no red. red. It was uh, aqua blues. Aqua blues. The oh, tiling oh, of the pile. No. Uh, the, uh, the tiling pool. of the piles? The tiling what of the pool. Saying, you sound like right. you worked for the draft board. The tiling of the piles. Listen, Pierre was at the volleyball game last night. I was at the, the volleyball. The USA lost to Japan. Really? I don't know if Pierre's being there had anything to do with it. I don't know. No, 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 you probably no, no, scared no, no. the hell out of those poor little girls. Those ladies were tough, man. I'm telling you, they would. I was. Scared oh, of them? They oh, weren't I scared can imagine. of me. I a couple of you know, a couple of them ride motorcycles. <laughs> Don't even have seats. As a matter of fact, Nikki Hoy. Nikki Hoy. Aloha, Joe. I always break into that Bob Fosse thing just it, at the end there. Yeah. Well, you know, it's the way it's got to be sometimes. Really? You're you're very mellow this yeah. morning. For a Friday, it's amazing. It's amazingly mellow. I, I just felt that mellowness was what was needed today, John, because you're... Well, you know what we say on the zoo about mellowness for the third time today. What's that, John? Well, if you, if you get too mellow, you start to ripen, and then mm -hmm. after that, you rot. David Brenner for Taco Bell. Man, I worked and saved to buy my first car, and the only good thing about it was the back seat. Now, if I could have had a Corvette, I could have dated girls with long, wavy hair and straight teeth instead of straight hair and long, wavy teeth. Now, Taco Bell is giving away 24 Corvettes, models 1962 through 1985, to celebrate Taco Bell's 24th anniversary. Get all the rules at one of the more than 2,000 Taco Bell restaurants. It's a great deal, even though Corvettes don't have a back seat. Contest ends December 15th. Void where prohibited. If you've ever been to the Camera Shop Incorporated's annual photo video show and sale, then you know just how great the sights and savings can be. If you haven't, then don't miss it. The photo video show and sale is going on now through Sunday at the Oxford Valley Mall in Langhorne. Meet with all the major manufacturers and see the latest and greatest breakthroughs in photographic and home video equipment, like the exciting camcorders. Let the factory reps from Nikon, Minolta, Kodak, Polaroid, Canon, Ricoh, and Magnavox show you the best in what's new. And let the Camera Shop Incorporated show you how to stay big with special show prices on virtually everything. Cameras, lenses, flashes, accessories, and so much more. There's something for the whole family at this show. Get 50% off processing color prints, 50% off all filters, 30% off gadget bags, free camera checkups, free Kodak seminars. See the Eagles cheerleaders on Saturday and protect your children with free photographs and fingerprinting from 12 to you on Saturday. The annual photo video show and sale is going on now. Don't miss it. Pick up your Philadelphia Craft Show $2 off admission discount coupon at any of the Camera Shop Incorporated locations. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Perlstein. When I talk about how I've changed the diamond business of Philadelphia, the thing that comes to my mind is Ron's really dealing and maybe that dealing aspect is the main thing. Jewelers Row had become such an establishment kind of retail area that the jewelry stores on Jewelers Row were like jewelry stores anywhere where you would go. And every item had a price tag, and that price was the price. I've changed Sansom Street because I deal, and I will not lose a sale, no matter what. Eight oh one, Phantom. Hi, I hope you can hear me. Before we joined the Army Reserve, my pal Jesse and I were born stiff on weekends. Now I'm doing something exciting one weekend a month and two weeks a year. I repair helicopters and fly in them too. But Jesse decided to do something different. He's down there, trudging around in the woods. Can you imagine that? Up here's where the excitement is. Hi. Sorry I can't talk louder, but I'm in the Army Reserve, and I'm on patrol in these woods. A while ago, my friend Grant and I had this problem with our weekends. They were about two days too long. Now we're Army Reservists, and I'm doing something exciting one weekend a month, and two weeks a year. Grant's up there flying around over the trees. I can't imagine why. Down here is where the excitement is. The weekend was fantastic. Mine, too. Mine too. 
See your local Army recruiter. Paid for by the Army Reserve. I don't know why he would want to be down there with the trees and the bugs and stuff, you know. You know, John, I think... He'd be up in a helicopter, you know, hanging out the side, uh, holding onto a large gun that weighs more than he does and possibly fall out. <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm, in, I'm in a rare, You're serious You're spunky today, today <laughs> kiddo. I think cranky, I think, might be the, the right I think word. that maybe you should join the Army. He looks terrible in green. Thank but you, I mean, But I mean, you know... Uh, maybe you need <clears throat> some more discipline in your life. I have served my country. Maybe you need more dur dur during the energy during in the your 60s, life. During the 60s, I volunteered to be uh, 1X. 1X? Yeah. Oh, what's that mean? In case of a war, I'm a hostage. Oh. Right. It's another Hawaiian shirt, Gonzo Friday. Only at 93.3 WMMR, the home of rock and roll.